poultry. And as you see in the title, chicken won, but only for a minute. And as soon as I cut this chicken up, I went back and looked at the poll card and apple pie was ahead. So I've got to cut it. I think it's a really close, um, <laughs> a close little poll. So we're gonna do chicken for you first and then I'll do a pie, I promise. So this is the trivet that I bought and this is from Lodge. Um, this is not a Lodge uh, cast iron. This is a 12 inch, eight quart um, cast iron. And I just, I took it out of the shed and I reseasoned it. It had some rust on it. It's easy to reseason. So I got it all reseasoned today. It's slick, like nonstick, but Honestly, the first thing that I like to do, the first cook that I do on a reseasoned or refurbished piece of cast iron is I want to stay off the actual surface. So I'm going to use a parchment liner. But I want my chicken up off the very bottom. So, and I'm going to do away with the mess. This fits right in there. It fits in my 10 inch Dutch oven too. Um, some, some Dutch ovens come with these. And I believe there's a Dutch oven out there with a trivet in it, but sorry about the noise. So get your Dutch oven liner in there. Easy, easy cleanup. Oh my gosh. You can't even <laughs> understand how easy it is to clean up. And look at my brush. I don't know where the handle is. So I have staying stir fry oil and that's got a nice garlicky flavor. I cut up a whole chicken and, uh, I reserved the other breast half for a different recipe because we won't eat both of them barbecued, but I want the bone and the skin on. It's going to make for really good barbecue and I want this to get a little crispy before I start basting with my barbecue sauce. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited to do this for you. I can't wait. Okay. And then I've got, this is a sriracha garlic seasoning by Weber. And you don't need this, you could just do salt and pepper because you're gonna put barbecue sauce. Now I've gotta decide, do I want my maple bourbon barbecue or do I want my peach barbecue, habanero peach barbecue? It's really gonna be a hard decision, but we'll, we'll make that executive decision here. Don't worry. That's how simple it is. Season your chicken, put it in your Dutch oven. My coals are started as soon as they get hot now, because it's a 12 inch, you want to heat up at least 24 coals. So take the diameter uh, or the measurement of your Dutch oven and double it. And then you're going to put um, more on the bottom and, or more on the top and less on the bottom. Usually for a 350 oven, it's three less on the bottom and three more on the top. But because I want this to go at about, to in the beginning, I wanted a 375 oven. So, so I'm gonna do two less on the bottom and two more on the top. And that will give me a hotter oven all the way around. And that's another reason why I want that trivet in there. It's gonna finish the seasoning process on the inside. The lid came out absolutely beautiful where there was rust here. And if you guys want to see the video on how I did this, you need to leave me a comment in the comment section. And it just came out stunning. And I was, I was really kind of disappointed in myself that I let it go that bad. So now I'm going to put my chicken pieces in here and that's how easy it is. We're going to wait until this skin gets crispy and I'll probably turn it. Um, and it will get crispy. It'll cook pretty quickly in the 375 degree oven. And yes, if you want, if you don't have a Dutch oven, you can do this in your oven, in a Dutch oven or without, because a lot of Dutch ovens these days have no legs on them, which if that's the kind you have, and you'd like me to show you how to use it over coals, I have a secret that will help you out, as well as using your lid those don't, the lids that don't have the lip on it. I know how to show you how to use that because I've had to do it. We brought the wrong one one time camping and I had to figure it out. So necessity is the mother of invention. And this is perfect size for seven pieces and I could have fit the other breast in here too, but I'm happy with seven pieces. Come on, I can't stab it. Dang nab it. Okay. So get that all spaced in there. Looks beautiful. Sprinkle a little more seasoning. 
because you can't have too much, can you? Now, so, so what's going to go with sriracha and garlic better? The habanero peach? Mmm. Or the maple and maple barbie beer maple bourbon barbecue that's a mouthful all right so i'll take you outside and show you i've got my coals already started we'll get this put together and you'll see how easy it is and it's cold outside so i may have to wear a coat the rest of the coals are on top so we're going to go ahead and lift this dutch oven and it's got taller feet so the coals can set underneath there pretty easily um, and I don't have to have a buffer for that. So we are ready to go. I'm just going to place these so they get some even cooking. I'm going to let this cook for about 35 minutes and then I'm going to come out here and I'm going to start, I'm going to look at it, see if I need to turn it. If I want to turn it, then I'll do that at that time. Go another five minutes, and then I'm going to start basting barbecue sauce on it. How easy is that? Okay, guys, so I got my actual, my long, um, oh, what do you call it? My, my longer lid lifter because, and I'll, if you want me to do a video on things that I have, you go ahead and leave a comment, but it's really hot down here. I had to add more coals, top and bottom, and it's because there's so much space between the top and the chicken and I want it to cook a little bit quicker. Um, I was gauging the coals by the 10 inch Dutch oven, so note to self, you're gonna need more coals, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take the lid off, Woo set it aside. And the nice thing about that lid lifter is it sits on top of the lid. Look how beautiful. Can you guys see that? I know you can. If you had smell -o vision right now, you'd be giving me a hug. All right, so we're gonna go in here and start the basting. I'm not even gonna turn it, I'm gonna leave it. We're just gonna start basting barbecue. And I chose the uh, maple bourbon because I already had a jar open and we love maple bourbon and it's got a hickory back note to it. So, yum. Ooh, this is gonna be delicious. And then put the lid back on. And you wanna, when you're doing this part, you really wanna baste generously because you want it to kind of caramelize on there just like you would in an oven. And the only thing you're missing is the charcoal flavor that you would get off of a barbecue, but I'm not worried about that. It would be just like doing it in your oven at home, which we all do barbecue chicken. So get your lid back and put it back up. And next time I see you, we're gonna be inside tasting the chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And oh my gosh, I just checked the poll again and now it's apple pie. You guys, now I have to do apple pie. <laughs> so guys, here's our plate. <laughs> and I'm just gonna tell you, I've already had a little sample sample. It's delicious. Actually, this is my husband's plate. We have a salad out of the garden. We still have a fall garden with beautiful lettuce that stays fresh for days some whole wheat, egg noodles, and now our chicken. And I'm just gonna take a little bite. Ugh, I hate to do this to him, but he said it was okay. Look at, it's beautiful. That is perfectly done. Not to the point where it's overdone and falling off the bone, but it's, when you bite into a really good rib or a really good piece of chicken, you should be able to pull it off with your teeth. That is perfection. Mm -hmm. mm. Tender and juicy, and the Dutch oven keeps all the moisture in. There's a ton of moisture left behind. You don't need to add any water or braise it. It's absolutely delicious, but I will tell you, there's gonna be a little learning curve for me to get back in the swing of using the larger Dutch oven, which you guys are all gonna to have too. So hopefully you guys come along with me and you uh, share this recipe. Well, idea, it's not even a recipe. I gotta have a piece of pasta. 
And this is a garlic Parmesan pasta. If you want to see this recipe, mm, it's so good. All right, guys, <laughs> I know he wants his plate, so I guess I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe. Don't forget to go down in the about section below and check all the links. I'll have some Dutch ovens for you, some accessories, and yeah, I, there's a ton of other stuff down there. Go sign up for Zacon Fresh because you can get really good deals on both.